Hello everyone, I'm Emma Hayward and I had the privilege of being one of the tutors on the Global Health Education Elective, which was a project run jointly between Leicester University, Prime and CMF Kenya, uh, who put us in touch with, with students from about six different medical schools around Kenya. And I'm really, really pleased that uh, two of those students have joined me on this Zoom call to just tell us a little bit about their experiences uh, of being part of that course. So I'm first of all going to get them to introduce themselves. So William, do you want to go first? Hello everyone. My name is Oma William Nyamwembe. I'm a medical student from the University of Nairobi, which is based in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm currently in my uh, level six of study, uh, medicine and surgery. Thank you. And Gilbert? So my name is Gilbert Osengo. I'm a fifth year medical student at Moi University School of Medicine. It's based in Eldoret, Kenya. Yes, I was one of the students uh, in this global health course. Yes, thank you. Okay, so um, I'd really like to hear what, what made you sign up for the course, Gilbert? What was it that um, made you actually apply? So for me, I received an invitation. There was uh, a message from CMF Kenya requesting us that if anyone is willing to join a global health course over a six week period to sign up. So there's a Google form that we filled. I filled it out of curiosity. And yes, I found myself in this course and I can say it was really worth it. And how about you, William? What attracted you to it? Uh, I first of all heard about uh, the prime electives from uh, CMF Kenya. And I heard they were about global health. So I was really interested because I'd been starting to know about global health. And uh, at that time, my mentor, who is Dr. Kizito, also had been had informed me earlier about the electives. So I was really uh, hoping to be part of uh, the group. Thank God I was one of them. Okay. So Gilbert, do you want to just tell us what, what actually happened during this six-week course? What activities were you involved in? So what happened is that we had various activities distributed over the week and repetitively over the six weeks that we had the course. So mostly we had sessions by the tutors. This was a joint session for all the students. And then after that, uh, during the three hour period, so at some point we were broken into, into groups. So in these groups, the small groups, we were able to, we were given some assignments or some preparation to do, and then we come back to present to the rest of the st students. And then on, I think it was once or twice, or twice a week, we used to have tutorials by our tutors. And here we brainstormed on current issues and also mostly on determinants of health. And also you we are given assignments to go and research and then come back in the next, uh, in the next session. Yeah, that is what happened. Okay, and William, do you want to tell us about some of the topics that we covered? Uh, most of the topics we covered were based on social determinants of health. Uh, which were well handled by the teachers we had. And additionally, we also had health systems management and health finances, which were handled by Mike Mulongo from Kenya. So it was really interesting to know about these topics on a, deep, on a deeper level. Right, thank you very much. So um, I, I wasn't the only tutor. We also had Marion, who's a GP in the UK. And you've mentioned Mike Malongo, uh, who's um, a prime tutor from Kenya. And we were also um, had the privilege of having Jonathan Fisher, uh, who's got lots of experience in global health. And he joined us from Switzerland, so which meant that we were working across three time zones, uh, which added some extra interest to the planning. Um, we also had some... Uh, extra tutors join us um, during the course, didn't we? Who, who talked a little bit about uh, some of their experiences in, in global health. Um, how, how did that affect you, William? I think that was really interesting. I, uh, among my best highlights, that was among my best highlights because when you hear of the experiences of someone on global health from their perspective and from their personal experiences, then it makes much, it, it makes, so much sense and uh, so it was really intriguing uh, uh, being a person who is interested in global health then that would uh, set me on course to know what it really entails and were there any other highlights for you 
cases there were. Uh, I think uh, the interactions with lay sister students and then the breakout sessions, uh, which I hoped would have been longer only that the time was limiting, but it was good uh, to have one-on-one -on -one interactions and have discussions uh, and speak out on our different perspectives and experiences, uh, uh, taking into consideration that we're in different parts of the world, different economic statuses. That's great. And Gilbert, how about you? What, what were your take home points from the course? My take home points was just a reminder that there are very many issues affecting health. There are very many determinants of health and having gone through this course now, it, it was an eye opener for us that indeed we, there's much we can do uh, probably right now as students and even afterwards when we begin to practice, there's, there's much you can do to try and be a solution to the problems that you are facing, the inequitable health, uh, the health disparities that we have between the different countries that you can be part of the solution. Also, I was challenged uh, by those tutors that have gone to different countries, the developing countries and tried to run some programs there, try to do global health interventions there, who are challenged and also pray that that desire grows in us that we may be able to follow in their footsteps, yes. And, and how did you get on with the Leicester students? Because this was quite a, quite an innovative way of teaching. We, we actually teamed you up. We had two Kenyan students working alongside a student from Leicester. So how did that work out for you, Gilbert? So uh, the Leicester students were very friendly uh, in our group. In our group, we had Katie. So they were very friendly and also the tutors were able to integrate us together. There was no form of awkwardness between us. You are just really able to get along together. You are, the discussions went on very well and really enjoyed being together with the Leicester students. That's great. How about you, William? Uh, it was great meeting the Leicester students. I was actually excited. Uh, we had a great interaction with them. They were really kind to us. And we've uh, continued communicating with them because we have personal contacts with some of them. Some of them. So it's, it's really an interesting forum to meet people. Yeah, yes. that was one of the things that we really wanted to, to experiment with, to see whether it was possible for people to learn alongside each other and to understand a little bit about practicing medicine in a different culture. And that seems to have really um, translated into the online environment. It's not quite the same as working together in person, but um, we do seem to have, have made some connections there, which was just really pleasing. So. Um, but what advice would you give to somebody who's thinking of, of signing up on the course next time? I'll really encourage people to sign up. Yes, the slots were very few, but I realized that not very many people signed up for it. So I would really encourage people to take up the course. And yeah, it is worthwhile. We learned so many things in the course. We learned the different health determinants, both the tangible ones and the intangible ones how culture affects health-seeking health behavior, how countries can have universal health coverage for those countries that are still developing. Yeah, we learned so many things that make this course a really worthwhile pursuit, yes. Okay, and um, William, any top tips from you for people who are thinking about joining the course next year? I would tell them to go for it. Uh, it's not only interesting to get to know about global health, uh, but it's something that uh, puts them, uh, gives them an edge of uh, other doctors who just would base themselves in the clinical aspect. To learn uh, before the sessions or uh, put themselves uh, at a position to learn more from the sessions. And then lastly, to uh, pre pre prepare a way a they have connectivity uh, issues with uh, schedules so that they are well prepared and the sessions don't act as, a, as an inconvenience to them. Yeah. That, that's great. And unfortunately, I think your, your audio cut up a little bit there, which is highlighted that there were some challenges to running this course, sometimes to do with the Wi-Fi, sometimes to do with scheduling. And we were hugely impressed with the commitment of the Kenyan students who often joined us for quite long sessions, even during their exam weeks. So um, we really, really hope that we're going to run this again. Leicester University are very keen to expand the course as, as, um, as we go forward. I'm hugely, hugely grateful to Kazito and the CMF Kenya team who
pulled out all the stops to get this organised at really quite short notice and had to do quite a lot of the admin work. So really, really pleased that we were able to put together something that has been an amazing learning experience, not just for the students, but also for the tutors as we try to get to grips with how this might look in the future. So um, William Gilbert, thank you so much for being amazing participants in the course and thank you so much for giving up your time this morning to actually talk to us about it. Wish you all the best in your studies this year. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you for having us. <laughs> all the best too.